they're both ready. 15 rounds for the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. A referee for this bout is Tony Orlando. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's wearing the white trunk and weighs 228 and 3 quarter pounds. He's from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This Olympic gold medal champion has 15 consecutive victories, 10 by knockout. Introducing the number one challenger in the world, Fighting out of the red corner, wearing the solid black trunk. He weighs 216 pounds. From Catskill, New York, 27 of his 31 unblemished victories are by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, the undefeated, undisputed, heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. Gentlemen, you received your instructions prior to coming to the terrain. Therefore, I expect a good, clean bout. Do you have any questions? Touch well back to you, friend, and good luck. Barry and Ray, I wouldn't be surprised if this fight lasted a minute or an hour. I feel exactly the same way. It's one of those fights you really don't know. I, I believe in the opinions of many of the people who feel that Tyrell Biggs can win the fight. I don't happen to be of that school, but you just don't know. Expect Tyson to jump right on Tyrell Biggs. Three questions that Mike Tyson really has to answer. Can he cope with a clever boxer? Can he survive a heavy puncher? And can he persevere when he's hurt? You know, it's right from the start, Tyson is applying the pressure, trying to slow this man down. I'm seeing more jazz from Mike Tyson than I've seen in the past. I see a lot of movement on the part of uh, Tyrell Biggs, good lateral movement. Those hands should be up a little higher because, again, the hand speed of Mike Tyson is very good. You have said that Biggs has to go side to side to win the fight, right? Go side to side, give your man angles, throw the jab like he's doing now, not to let Tyson set up. Now, Tyson also said that he has found a pattern in Tyrell Biggs that he feints to the right before the punch actually is thrown. Well, whatever he does, the fact that Tyson has to set up to get that kind of leverage. See, a good snapping jab is very effective. Whether or not Biggs can keep this up is yet to be seen. It's not time to be pretty in here. It's just time to frustrate this man. And that's what they want from, Ty from uh, Biggs. Good, consistent jab. And along the lines of patterns, Biggs feels that Tyson actually bobs in a pattern four times, and then he comes up with his head. See, wait, now I'm here. You saw how Tyson oh, walks in that? with that crouching style to deliver a shot. He's trying for the head. Now we see him head, head hunting from Mike Tyson. He can't get into that. Good shot by Tyson. Get off the ropes, tie your man up. That's the way. Get him back into the center of the ring. Use the jab again. And come with that right hand. That was a quick little overhand right by Tyrell Biggs. Biggs now is talking to Tyson. Again, Barry, he's trying to frustrate him. But I don't like his hands down that low. I don't like Biggs' hands down so low. Because Tyson throws those looping right hands and left hooks. Keep him up, Mike. Keep him up. Body shot by Tyson. Theophilo Stevenson, and I admit it was five years ago, but he really bothered there me. There is the hook, again, because his hands are down. He's moving right, but he keeps his hands down too low. Tyson has very quick hands for a big man. Stevenson beat Biggs by going to the body, broke three ribs, as a matter of fact. A lot of water under the bridge since then. They're going to have to fix Tyson's equipment here in just a moment, as it has come loose. Biggs is starting to become a stationary target, which is wrong. Right hand by Bad Tyson. Move. A little bit of blood inside the mouth of Tyrell Biggs. I don't know if Biggs
Jacobs can fight a perfect fight, but he fought about as perfect a round as he could have hoped for to start this fight. punch that which tells you that Tyson is not effective with the jab and of course Terrell Biggs is very effective with it. And as Punch Dad showed or confirmed, that was a very good round using the left hand as well as he can. That is exactly what Biggs must do to stay in this fight. Can Tyson neutralize the jab? See, Biggs was doing great the first two minutes of the first round, keeping that jab consistent, moving lateral, giving angles. But then the last maybe 45 seconds of the round, bro, he stopped, became stationary target. The hands again, which I think is uh, a, a major mistake because of Tyson's hand speed. And Tyson throws his punch, he loops his right hand, he loops his hook, and uh, Biggs could be asked for a few problems. And the thing that strikes me, actually, is Biggs did have a round and did fight according to his fight plan, but he still took some strong shots from Tyson. So see, now Biggs again are starting to stand there and exchange toe-to-toe, -to -toe, like I said earlier. You can't do that. Tyson's punches come so fast with so much velocity behind him. It's devastating. Biggs has shown a tendency, actually, throughout his career, and especially later in his career, most recently, to get in there occasionally and want to slug it out when he's been stunned. And that could be suicide. And the way that Biggs is moving to his right, that's wrong because of the hook of Mike Tyson. He'll run right to the left hook. What I was expecting from Biggs, and in fact, they, they told me this, that he's prepared to work this in the gym, was the uppercut, the jab to go through Tyson's defense. I have not seen that yet. And the game plan was for give Biggs, rather, to move to his left. Now, he's been moving to his right, and as you said, he's been getting himself a little trouble when he does so. Tyson's gripped with some tremendous shots to the body, and uh, that's going to help bring those hands down even lower. Remember, Stevenson broke three ribs of Tyrell Biggs. I'm looking for a left hook, Barry. I really am, because of, look at the right hand of uh, Tyrell Biggs. That's the uppercut, but you gotta come back with the right hand. The uppercut raises the chin of a guy who crouches in, and the right hand does most damage. There was a big right hand, best punch of the fight. That was the left hook, Barry. That was the left hook I was talking about. Now, if Big should make it back to his corner, I'm sure Georgie Biggs will say, keep those hands high. Right, left, I'll get it right. <laughs> right, left, left. <laughs> But the fact of the matter is, the right hand is down a big, the left hook has been scoring. And it rocked big. As Michael Tyson said before this fight, everybody has a plan until they're hit. A little bit more coming in, a little bit more dead. He thought that went real good, then he slowed down with the dead. He hurt him with that hook. He's seven, six, six, one, two, one, two to five, one now. Seven, seven coming in. What's gonna go five, one? Take a little spring back and put a little twist in there. Take a little twist. And here is Tyson's most effective punch. Biggs has been on his uh, flat footed more in this round than he was in the first round. Got nailed with the left hook. He has shown in the past that he takes a good punch. You don't want to take too many from Tyson. But now look, come on. You gotta slow down. Second side. What are the stars for another round? Of you understand? Come on, you can do much more than you can do. 
So Kevin Rudy wants Mike Tyson to jab a little bit more. And Big starts the third round backing up a little bit. This stiff jab by Mike Tyson. Tyson will constantly apply pressure to Big. Keep working his body and working a jab like Kevin Rooney stated. People don't realize this, and I learned this from Andrew Dundee. It's not a matter how long your jab is, the fact that you have a jab, use it. That offsets someone else's jab. And the left hook. The hook's gonna land all night, Barry, because his right hand is down. Let me show you what Tyson does when he delivers that left hook. He takes one, two steps in, dips, and, and puts his whole body, all his weight behind his punch. A lot of leverage. One, two. You see it. Steps in. So you have to time it. You have to time this movement. One, two. Again, same thing. One, two. And he throws it. That was a little short left hand that did get in. Shot with the left hand. I wait. And, this and now the cut over the left eye, and it's pretty bad. It's the same eye, the same cut. And another big left hand, and Biggs is hurt. Now he gets out of there. A lot of blood from the left eye of Tyrell Biggs. That's the same thing that probably happened with uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. David Bates. They're toe to toe. It's a terrible mistake something you pointed out before the fight and now it's Tyson just hammering him that's a nasty cut it's, it's, the blood is seeping to the eye this would require a lot of work in the corner of Tyrell Biggs to stop that bleeding the cut is right above the eye it's exactly in the same place as the last one Biggs, I don't know what happened. All that gym work has gone down the drain because he's not boxing, he's not using his tools. He's trying to outmuscle Mike Tyson, which is not his fight plan. And there is a huge left hand. They may stop it. That's a nasty cut. I don't think I can tell you what a finisher Mike Tyson is. The pressure, the relentless pressure of Tyson Relax. takes its toll. That's a big round. Hold it there, hold it there. Don't put it in the air. There you see that cut. Against Ty and that he absorbed against Tyrell, against David Bay, and here it is right now being worked on. That was a 32 stitch gash that he suffered from Bay. Now let's see if we can catch it as it happens. That's the punch that apparently sliced Bay open. Excuse me, Tyrell. Bigs open. It's the same right hand, Larry, that was thrown by David Bay. Let's remember that Biggs has fought his best when he's been in trouble. But I think it's fair to say that he's not in there against David Bay tonight. Right hand body shot and the left hand behind it by Tyson. Mike Tyson is not just loading up one punch. He's trying to put his punches together. He's trying to put together combinations. A mistake he made with Tony Tucker. Tyson Ray, to me, seems to be a little bit more patient tonight. Yes, he, in fact, he is a little more composed, uh, picking his shots. But again, I don't, know, I don't know why they don't pick it up in Dick's corner, the way Tyson steps in and leaves his chin so vulnerable.
the way I see it now, Mike Tyson has made big fight his fight. So far, the cut has not been any worse. And remember, it was a pretty good job done by Edge Morata, his cut man, in the fight with David Bay. But again, Tyson just putting all the pressure on him, so, having it his way. Didn't seem like Michael was a good short uppercut by uh, Mike Tyson. A little more up by the movement from uh, Tyrell Biggs now. Start to throw some uppercuts. He took a big left hand there. And another. The cut is reopened again. Let go, let go, get back, get back. All right, great. Get back. No punches, no punches. Step back. Watch your head, Mike. Watch your head, okay? How does it happen, Ray, that a fighter like Biggs, in this case tonight, will go into a fight with a game plan, and almost from the opening bell, he'll just let that game plan go away? It's all concentration. you got to stick to something that's working for you. And what I see in Tyson, Tyson stick to his game plan. He works the body with that right hand. He drills a hard right hand to the body and comes up with a good left hook. But Biggs is doing almost everything exactly the opposite of what he said he was going to do. Huge left hand there by Tyson. And a combination by Tyson, a left and a right behind him. Getting to be a mismatch. Right now, Tyson looks like he's rolling in like the tide from the Atlantic Ocean a few steps from Convention Hall. You had it good, Doc. I'm okay. here. We're going to be all right. No problem. Give me that bottle. Great doctor is taking a look. Yeah. I got it all set. Yeah. But the cut appears no worse than it did. Put your earlier. head back. Come back. Go all the way back. You're the testing. And you're, you're laying back and taking it easy. You can't take it easy with this guy. You gotta keep the pressure on this You gotta move your hand. So all you gotta do is throw the combination. You gotta put two, three, four punches together. You understand me? Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? He won't be there. He's, He's gonna be there. He's not gonna be there. One more round. Let's go. And you will not go. You're not nothing. One more round. He's not there, baby. Come on, check it out. And so we start the fifth round, and Tyson is right on his man. Kevin Rudy exhorting him to throw two or three punch combinations. Swelling under the right eye of Tyrell Biggs as well right now. I don't know if Tyrell's going to recognize himself when he wakes up tomorrow morning. I don't know what that was a second ago by Tyrell Biggs. This is somewhat disappointing for Big's corner because he has more talent than what he's showing tonight. The left hooks has been consistent and very, very accurate with Mike Tyson. But they're there for a good reason, right? Well, Tyson, because uh, look what you have in front of you. Uh, the fact that <laughs> Big's is not doing what he, what he worked on. He just forgot about his game plan, totally abandoned it. Mike Tyson, he's doing what he does best. Work the body, work the head. Simple fact is, and I don't think you have to be a boxing expert, Tyrell Biggs is dropping his right hand, and he's just leaving himself completely open for the left hook. Well, I think this is a good education for the public because the fans at home, because they've seen what should not be done against a fighter like a Mike Tyson, or any boxer, or puncher, rather, in particular. You have to be consistent. Keep those hands up. And again, that cut over the left eye has opened up. There is a swelling under the right eye that has a lot of blood right below the surface of the skin also. 
what Biggs has to do, he has to work something out, which is actually the left jab to break that rhythm and stop the momentum of Mike Tyson. He, he continues, Barry, to allow Mike to dominate. Yeah, again, bleeding from the mouth, as he has been since the first round. Not a pretty sight. He subjects him, himself, Biggs does, to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe and being a, actually a punching bag. This way, this is probably see uh, more knots and bruises because Tyson is hard. Good body shot by Mike Tyson. And remember, the doctor was in Tyrell Biggs' corner and looked long and hard at that cut in the last round, and you're going to see him again. Tyson hit on a break that time. I say break, you don't break. On the front, you understand, Mike? Two, let's go. That cut looks even uglier. I'm Friday, sure to look at it. Bloody Friday. You're not doing enough. You're not doing enough. You're not doing enough. You're not doing Now look, don't get in to this shit. You can't punch. There's nothing out there. Now listen. 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 And keep your hands up when the guys don't touch the guy. Now look, keep your head. Uh, are you all right? Yes. Uh, Harold Letterman, uh, uh, the uh, unofficial official. How do you score the fight? Well, Larry, I've got us 49-46. Mike Tyson, four to round, four to one in rounds. Uh, based on the four points that we score, it's very simple to score. Mike Tyson's just been the effective aggressor, the harder hitter, and uh, he's dominating at this point. Lou Duba is doing everything possible to inspire Biggs. He, he said as he left the ring, you heard him, you heard him. <laughs> that is wishful thinking. And Biggs holding on a great deal now. There was a right hand by Tyson. And another. Biggs, you have to say, he, he, he takes a good shot, but it, uh, this was not necessary. I mean, I, I figured that Biggs would use that height, that reach, and his ring generalship to uh, make this fight a little easier for him. Instead, he abandoned his uh, tactics, his strategy he worked on in the gym, and select to fight Mike Tyson's fight. I, I love those body shots, Barry. It weakens the fighter, it takes away his legs, so you won't see that much movement from Tyrell Biggs. And what Mike wants him to be is a stationary target. Tyson has fought an excellent fight so far. I, you know, I, I admit that Biggs has let him fight an excellent fight, but Tyson's been very sharp. Well, I like Tyson because now he's putting his combination together. He's not loading up anymore. And he's also showing a lot more patience. He was a guy who would just get in there and go for the quick kill and try to do it, generally speaking, with one punch. You know what's happening here? Actually, Biggs is just wearing down, slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. It's like chopping a tree down. It's the same principle. He's wearing, Mike Tyson's wearing his man down. And the way you can tell this, Burr, is the fact that you notice this very, very uh, seldom does uh, Biggs retaliate. Very seldom you see Biggs come back with a combination of his own. Break! No punch, you let him out. Let him out, Joe. Let him go. Come on, Joe. Well, I'm going to take a point away now. These two, of course, go back a long way, all the way back to amateur days. Now the left hand, and there's a great shot. Biggs is in trouble. Yeah. The way it looks now, uh, Biggs is like a defeated warrior now. He's been pounded on for five rounds. And he's slowly but surely wearing down. His legs don't look steady. Tyson's getting stronger, and Biggs is just holding on. Well, 
Well, that made the betters happy, if nothing else, because Tyrell Biggs has lasted six rounds. They say that Tyson is predictable, but uh, so is a hurricane. What can you do about it? Well, here's something that hasn't been predictable the last couple of weeks because the football strike, but inside the NFL will now be back because the strike has been, and I'll put it in quotes, settled. Your hosts, Len Dawson and Nick Bonacani. It's right here on HBO Thursdays at 11. More sevens, like the game, more sevens, more sevens. That six is beautiful. Let's see, six, five, one, six, five, two, one. Get to the side. Play with this guy now. You understand? Yeah. This guy's got nothing. Give him the face. Like you did before. Give him the face. Give him the face. Get to the side. Five. You, you're taking the best he's got. So what the hell's wrong with you? Five back. Come on, this guy's gone. Now listen Come to on, that. you're better fighting than him. Five from your chin, no. The guy can't fight inside. So if you, if you got no legs, fight him inside if you got Tony. Tony. Those numbers you heard were a fight combination. Customato, the mentor of Mike Tyson, used to put numbers on the different fight combinations and uh, Kevin Rooney is Tyson's disciple. I heard something interesting in Big's corner. Is it Big told him just trying to say it, if your legs are gone, stand and fight them. Stand toe to toe and fight them. So apparently the legs of Tyra Biggs are shot. Because you don't see movement. He hasn't had movement actually for the past two or three rounds. And just to further that point, in the last round, our punch that figures, Tyrell Biggs threw 15 punches, Ray. Again, like I said earlier, Barry, he's, he's just wearing down. You gotta, you can appreciate, especially from ringside, those body attacks by Mike Tyson. I mean, he gets his whole body a lot of leverage. I am surprised that I have not seen that many uppercuts from Tyrell Biggs. Well, that was his game plan. I mean, that was something he said he had to do. All right, Blake, no question. All right, Blake, no question. Get that through. Let him go, Tyrell. Let him go. Get back. Good. A cut, incidentally, at least for the last couple of rounds, has not shown any more blood. It appears to me that Biggs is trying to time Tyson with the counter right. I noticed when Tyson comes in, Biggs tries to stand his ground and throw a right hand. So now that tells me that Biggs is pretty much falling through the same trap as Mike Tyson, trying for one punch. And he's never, there's a right hand that just caught Biggs off balance. Biggs is covering up a lot of times unnecessarily and just trying to protect himself. Biggs, of course, has never been known as a guy who could put a man away with one punch. He dropped Snipes with a good right hand. But he didn't put him away. The elbow there. Come on, Tyson. Uh, Kevin Rooney was telling Tyson, get a, little, a couple head fights. to hang on to Tyson that we have to say it's Tyson's credit. He's the one who makes it happen. He makes it happen with his pressure and no matter what an opponent's plan is that plan disintegrates like a broken piece of crockery when it's faced with that kind of pressure. There's no way to practice for that. I pointed out in the past it's like trying to how do you practice to hit Nolan Ryan's fastball or Boris Becker's serve where do you where do you get the practice for that you don't <laughs> it's that simple let's take a look at the first knockdown it was a left hand and a big one and I feel like I'm being redundant with that but he hit him with many big left hands Ray well look at look at the right hand of uh, Tyrell Biggs it's down and the left hook has been landed from round one but the first the first minute or two of round one Biggs doing his job boxing now he becomes a stationary target. 
that's total toe tactics proved wrong against David Bay, which he subsequently was cut, and now the same thing happened. So all we had was actually a replay of what take, took place. Here, Mike Tyson just wears his man down with beautiful short left hook. It was really more his legs than anything else. He was just kind of off balance, had his legs together, just never really got it together. Here's the final knockdown now. No, I, I think it's the power and the fact that Mike Tyson actually wore his man down. One more look at the end for Tyrell Biggs. And Brad, let me say this for you and Larry. There is a way to stop a guy coming in, and it's with a jab. You've got to work on jabs, angles, and combinations. Yeah, and really he did it for one round. That was it. But that was his fault, Brad. He forgot. He just gave up. We just abandoned the tactics that would have been effective. Now, that's what I mean. As a matter of fact, and, and I don't mean to just blow smoke at you because you did it, but you were the only person I've ever seen start with a fight plan and stay with a fight plan and well, just not get away from it. Well, that's what is required against a guy. Describe what was happening. Well, I was in there looking for the punch, boom, and I knew it would come. Because when he threw a punch, his hand opened a little, and I thought I could slip a punch right in there. Were you trying to work on his 